Huxiflux supplies sensors to measure heat transfer and thermal quantities. Our product lines include solar radiation, heat flux and thermal conductivity. This video provides a short introduction to solar radiation measurement. Solar radiation is a source of energy. The energy flux is expressed in watts per square meter. It includes visible light as well as non-visible parts of the spectrum. Solar radiation can reach you directly or in other ways, filtered by clouds, scattered by the atmosphere, reflected by the ground surface. It is measured using a pyranometer. Spectrally flat pyranometers are often preferred because they can be used in horizontal, tilted and inverted orientations, using the same instrument with the same calibration. The main application of a pyranometer is in solar system performance monitoring. Installed in plane of array, it measures the available solar energy. A second application, horizontally installed up and down facing pyranometers, measure the solar energy input to meteorological processes. Pyranometers can also be used to measure simulated solar radiation from lamps. To facilitate the choice of instruments, the ISO 9060 standard defines three different pyranometer accuracy classes A, B and C. At Huxiflux, we supply the high accuracy spectrally flat class A heated and ventilated SR30. If lower accuracies are acceptable, there is the spectrally flat class B SR15 or spectrally flat class C SR5. If the SR30 accuracy is insufficient, there are also higher accuracy system solutions using solar trackers. You should know that there are standards that provide guidance concerning which pyranometer class to choose and how to use pyranometers. For meteorological use, there is the WMO manual. For solar system performance monitoring, the state of the art can be found in the IEC 61724 standard. This is what a professional solar performance monitoring system looks like according to IEC. WMO and IEC standards also cover practical aspects of the measurement. For example, recommended measures to prevent dew and frost deposition and how to clean, inspect and calibrate them. For example, here you can see what heating can do for you. IEC and WMO also set requirements for verification of the instrument condition through regular visual inspections. This is typically combined with cleaning. They also require pyranometer recalibration at regular intervals. Finally, as a last step in any measurement, we review the data and calculate the uncertainty. The ASTM standard G213 tells you what to do. You may also contact Huxiflux directly. We can provide you with dedicated application notes and will assist you in choosing the right instrument for your application. Huxiflux, taking measurement to the next level.